In this highly requested Android Basics video, we're going to show you how to connect all of your most common console controllers from PS4, PS5, Xbox One, Series S and Series X, Nintendo Switch Pro, Stadia and some assorted generic controllers to your Android phone. So let's get into it. Thanks for watching 95 Google here on YouTube. Remember to thumbs up, hit subscribe and then tap the bell icon to be among the first to watch our upcoming videos. Since the launch of Android 10, it's actually been possible to natively connect PS4, Xbox One and Nintendo Switch controllers if you want to use your existing gamepads. Since then though, we've seen Android 11 and Android 12 arrive on eligible devices alongside some brand new consoles and Google themselves have also launched Stadia, which has its own dedicated gamepad, all of which will have their own unique pairing methods. So be sure to use the chapters below to jump directly to your gamepad pairing process. Let's start with the PS4 DualShock. To start, just power on the gamepad by holding the PS button, which you can find in the center of the controller. Now enter pairing mode. This is done by pressing and holding the share button, which is at the upper left of the touchpad, and the PS button simultaneously for a few seconds until the light bar flashes white continuously. This means we're now ready to pair. So open the Bluetooth settings on your Android phone. Now pair new device and the DualShock 4 should appear with the rather generic wireless controller name. Tap that and once you're connected, the light bar on the controller will actually turn blue and this will mean you're now able to use all of the PS buttons, including the touchpad, which will just act as a mouse directly on your Android phone. If you do happen to have a PS5, the DualShock 5 is also available now too. So just power on this gamepad if you wanna pair it press and hold the PS button and the create button to the side of the touchpad, which you might know as the share button. The lights underneath the touch area should now flash a deep blue to confirm that pairing processes have been activated. On your Android phone, just open up the Bluetooth connection settings and then select pair new device. Like the PS4 gamepad, the DualShock 5 for PS5 will appear as a rather generic wireless controller. Just tap that and pair. And if successful, the Touch paddle side lights will now change to a solid blue to confirm that it has worked and it is connected directly to your Android phone. To connect your Xbox One gamepad, the process is fairly similar. So just power on the gamepad. Now press and hold the Xbox button and the Bluetooth pairing button at the very top of the chassis until the Xbox button light does start flashing white. On Android 10 and newer, your Android phone may instantly recognize that the device is in pairing mode and it might prompt you to connect directly. Alternatively though, if this doesn't appear, just head to Bluetooth, pair new device, and then select Xbox wireless controller. The Xbox controller light should now turn a solid white to indicate that your gamepad is directly connected to your phone. Pairing an Xbox Series S or Series X controller is exactly the same as an Xbox One gamepad and it's fairly simple. Just power on the gamepad Press and hold the Xbox button and that Bluetooth pairing button simultaneously until the Xbox button light flashes. If you don't get a prompt on your phone to pair directly, just head to Bluetooth, pair new device and select Xbox wireless controller. The Xbox light on the gamepad itself will now be a solid white to confirm that you have successfully paired with your Android phone. To connect to your Nintendo Switch Pro controller, things are a little bit different. All you need to do is simply press and hold the Bluetooth sync button at the top, which is a little bit hard to press. So you may need to use something like a paperclip to press and hold this button for a few seconds. The actual player LED indicator may flash, but it doesn't always do so. So either way to test that, you'll need to go to settings, Bluetooth, pair new device. And if it has been entered into this pairing mode, you will be able to see and select pro controller. Once you've selected that and the pairing process has gone through, unlike the DualShock 4 and the Xbox One gamepads though, that player LED, which is at the very top of the gamepad, may continue to flash once you have paired, but the Switch Pro controller should work as expected and with every aspect of Android. Using a Stadia controller, this is a little bit different as you don't directly connect to the phone, rather the cloud gaming session. So the pairing process here is a little bit different. To pair, you'll need to power on the Stadia gamepad and the Stadia light should now pulse white on your Android phone. Open up the Stadia app from here and within the app, if you've signed in and everything's set up correctly, the controller icon is in the top right. Just tap this and enable location access and Bluetooth if you are prompted to do so. There should be a controller listed here that you should be able to connect to. Just tap this and follow the setup process to pair your gamepad with Wi-Fi if you do need to do so and you haven't done that already. Now you should be able to enter the on-screen pairing code 
using the controller buttons to pair directly with the Stadia gaming session. Once you've done this, the Stadia button light will be a solid white to indicate that it has connected and you'll get confirmation within the Stadia app too. Of course, beyond the official options, you're able to use a wealth of Bluetooth gamepads with Android that would ordinarily not work with Nintendo, Sony, or even Microsoft consoles. And this process is the same no matter who does manufacture the controller. What you'll need to do is you need to power on the gamepad that you have available, find if there is a Bluetooth sync button available, which there should be, and press and hold this depending on the controller or tap this depending on who the manufacturer is. You may see a flashing LED or other indicator to show that pairing mode has been activated. So keep an eye out for that. It could be an LED hidden that you may not necessarily notice. Once this is done, open up your Android phone's Bluetooth connection settings, then select pair new device and select the gamepad from the list. It may have a random name. It may have the official name of the manufacturer. If there are any lights on your gamepad, they may now change or remain solid to indicate that pairing has been successful. So that's how to pair the most common gaming controllers out there, but it is worth noting that a few controllers, such as the original PS3 DualShock gamepad, will have issues when trying to connect via Bluetooth. Sadly, you will need a rooted device to actually pair with the six axis controller wirelessly, but all other controllers and most that we have mentioned and a multitude of other peripherals out there, including things such as keyboards and mice, can be attached via USB cable and USB on the go connections to play games, no matter what device you're running them on. If you do have any questions though, be sure to pop them down below and we'll answer as many as possible and as fast as we can. But hopefully this quick guide in how to pair with all of the most popular console controllers to your Android phone has been helpful. Either way, thanks for watching this super quick Android basics guide. This is Damien with 95 Google saying thanks for watching and I will speak to you later.